Hi everyone, my name is Robbie Wall, I'm the owner of Galactic Marketing, and today I'm going to be talking about how to make money selling cable, TV, and internet online on mainly Craigslist today is what I'll be talking about. So Craigslist is probably a website everyone's familiar with. If you're not, go to craigslist.org and you'll find out all about it. But long story short, um, there's there's very various different methods of posting. There's paid advertising and unpaid advertising. Um, many of the issues that many of you are experiencing is getting flagged on Craigslist when you post ads. So I'm going to talk about ways around that. And I'm going to talk about ways that you cannot get flagged in any way possible, right? With a very small investment of three to five dollars. So first, before I even talk about how to post an ad on Craigslist and what methods we're using and what's working, first we got to understand where to post because because as we all know, Spectrum is not available in every market USA. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the territory map link, which I've emailed all of you. You want to click on that link. And it should just load up right away with everywhere that Charter, Spectrum, Time Warner, etc. Um, are, are in. So in, in this map here, everything that's pink is where Spectrum is. And I know from here it's just a giant bird's eye view of America. But as you zoom in, right, so for example, uh, I don't know, let's look at this area. You got Kansas City right here. Um, as you zoom in, you'll start seeing more cities for here, for example. St. Louis seems to be a great area. Right, um, and as you zoom in, you can go all the way down to the street level and really see where to post. So, for example, let's say I wanted to post in St. Louis, right? I've identified it's a place I can sell on the map. So then I'm just going to go to Craigslist over here, which I've already pulled up, St. Louis, Missouri. Let's say you didn't know where the St. Louis Craigslist was, you can literally just type in St. St. Louis Craigslist into Google and it should pop up right there. There we go. Right, so that easy. So, anyways, um, before you do a post, I highly, 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 highly suggest that you create an account. So it's just like creating an account on Facebook or an email or whatever. It's super easy. Now the good news is here I've already got an account, so I'm not going to go into how to make one. But if you want you to, you just hit the create account button. But right now we're just gonna log in. You can see all the campaigns and all the stuff that I post on Craigslist. I spent a lot of money with Craigslist and a lot of time on Craigslist. Some of these are free ads, some of these aren't. But let me talk about first the benefits of posting in Craigslist using an, a Craigslist account, which is free by the way. Once you post, your, your ad will last about 30 days. So for example, once an ad expires, all you gotta do is hit repost and that's it. So once you create an ad, um, every 30 days, you can just hit repost rather than generating a new ad. So it, it takes a little bit of work to start posting in every city USA. But once you've done the legwork of posting, all you have to do is go back and hit repost. If it's a paid ad, you'll hit repost and then, you know, enter your credit card information again. But the overall process, once the ads are posted, the work is pretty, pretty simple. So I just want to talk about first how to post an ad on Craigslist in relation to a specific city. Um, and, and how to get around the flag. So first I'm going to talk about paid advertising. So I'm just going to go back here to Craigslist really quick. Um, how you post an ad, it's really simple. You go to post to classifieds, right? Um, and the issue that many of you are going to have on Craigslist is people will flag your stuff because it's a very competitive marketplace. And then that what happens when they flag your stuff, they're taking your ad down and maybe it only lasts like 30 minutes. And if it only lasts 30 minutes, there's only going to be 30 minutes worth of time where people actually got to see your ad. So the trick to get around that is you go, you have two options. You can go to service offered, right? So if we clicked on service offered, as you can see, it's $5 per post, which I think we can all agree, you know, when you're, when you're making $90 a triple play, spending five bucks is, is definitely worth it. Now here's something you need to know about posting. Just because you post the ad doesn't mean you're going to get a call that day. Some ads I've posted, I get calls for two weeks and then you know, that the following week I got a call, but guess what? I, I do get calls on all my ads. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of time, but I'm only spending $5, right? I always post in either cell phones or computer services when I'm doing services. And this, this dollar amount, $5, is for every city U USA, whether it's New York, LA, St. Louis, Missouri, smaller market, whatever, right? There are some areas where it's actually free to post in smaller markets. So that's one method, right? So if you wanted to do it, you would just hit, um, hit cell phones and then you would make your post from here you type into the body what you want I'll show you an ad I already posted 
Um, but I'm going to go back here. I'm going to show you another method because maybe $5 is too expensive for you. Well, let's try $3, right? So many of you, what you're probably doing right now is you're probably posting in for sale by owner, right? That's an effective method because it's free. Now, depending on what you do, you could get flagged, right? It's really just a matter of time. Sometimes you get lucky and you don't get flagged. I advise posting in cell phones, computer electronics, stuff that's that's closely related to you know selling internet and cable TV, right? So, so um, like once again, cell phones is right there. Uh, computer electronics, right, right here. So um, that's one method. Here is the method where it costs three dollars. And when you pay for advertising on Craigslist, they cannot flag you. That's why we always opt for paid advertising. And it's once again, it's very cheap, right? So go to for sale by dealer. That's the secret, right? And as you can see here, um, for example, if we were to post in cell phones, it's three dollars a post. I mean, that's just super cheap. Three dollars a post. I think we can all afford that. And this isn't something you have to do, but once you close a few deals, maybe take some of that money you made and reinvest in yourself. I promise you it's a very good investment, right? So you would just click um, cell phones by dealer, right? And then you would go on to post. Now, a um, couple tricks. First, maybe you're not from St. Louis, Missouri. So it's asking for a postal code. Now, what do we do? We just Google St. Louis, St. Louis uh, postal zip code right we find a zip code for st louis and look at that 63109 so 63109 and then where it says specific location i just say st st louis and surrounding areas right um price i'll put in like two bucks um so once again i'm just going to go back to an ad i've already posted um so for example here we go the title of the ad was zero down cable TV internet no credit check month to month that's a pretty catchy ad it tells you everything you want to know you know the product that it is you know the benefits right away just in the title because people are lazy they don't read too much into it now um, I have agents that work for me that speak Spanish and English so I'll post in both Spanish and English in the same ad right as you can see my ad is pretty simple the ad is the title is very straightforward zero down cable TV internet if you're putting too much information, I, I hate to break it to you, but no one's going to read it, right? So if you just speak English, this is what your ad should look like. Yes, you can get cable, TV, internet, and phone. There's no credit check. There's no down payment. There's no contract. It's month to month. For more information, call. Actually, I recommend putting call and text. I found that some people won't call, but they're willing to text. And once they text you, you got their phone number, so you can just call them right back. But Put in the numbers that you want people to call, maybe your name as well, so they know you're a real live human being and they aren't going to be on hold when they call you because no one likes that. Now, here's the other secret to Craigslist. When you go into Craigslist, right, let's say you're posting in cell phones, no one's looking for cable TV and internet and cell phones. What they are looking for is, well, cell phones, right? So we have this thing at the very bottom on all our ads. Notice how we have a bunch of space in between, right? So at the very bottom, no one's really going to know this, right? But maybe they were searching for an iPhone 6S. Well, as soon as they punch an iPhone 6S, our ad for cable TV and internet, which we included just a very simple picture right here, our ad is right there, right? Just because someone searched for an iPhone 6S. As you can see, we, we included other phones, other stuff. We even put some cars in there. We put in some Android stuff, but just people... Things that people will be searching for in that category, we included. And what I'll do in the email is I'll, I'll email you guys ads that I'm using. And all you guys got to do is a simple thing. Copy and paste and just post the ad. It's that easy. These ads are effective. Once again, they aren't going to do all the work for you. If you think you're just going to post one ad a day on Facebook or Craigslist and make a million bucks, you're not. You might not even make any money. The average person is doing a lot of ads, a lot of action. So um, Craigslist is great, and if it's too soon for you to be spending money, once again, I already showed you the option to do it for free. But once you, once you've got three to five dollars to, to spare, I would do I would do some advertisements in your local area, and you'd be surprised, or even in other areas where it's super busy, like St. Louis or North Carolina, South Carolina, Kentucky, Tennessee is great, um, Ohio, Michigan, Missouri. Uh, but these and and Wisconsin's good too. But these are all great um, methods for posting, and it's a really really simple process. And once again, you don't even need to think; you just need to copy and paste. Um, notice how I do not have 
spectrum written anywhere in my ad. I don't need it. At some point, we're going to have other cable companies we can sell, maybe in areas where we can't sell spectrum. Say someone calls you up and they can't get spectrum, no worries, we'll just sell them something else, right? Um, so that's why I like a very general ad. The goal is, is to not have too much information because otherwise the person's going to make up their decision before they even speak to you. You're the salesperson. You want to be able to control and influence the, the, the customer's decision making, not let the customer be influenced by the ad. So as you can see, I have a few key things. I have no pricing in here whatsoever. I have just enough to where it's interesting. It's where someone's going to call you, right? It's that simple. I just want them to call me or text me because at that point I'm in control and I can help them. So that's the whole goal is to get people to call you and at least know something in regards to what it is. And you can do catchy things like let's say you're in LA and you want to and you could, you could write in, hey, give me a call. And as long as you sign up and get it installed, I'll give you free Dodgers tickets. I mean, you can go on StubHub and get Dodgers tickets for like seven bucks, right? So a lot of people are doing little little gimmicks like, hey, hit me up and, you know, I'll give you a gift card if you call it right um once you pay your first bill or whatever it is but those things work as long now remember if you're offering something make sure to actually deliver on it don't lie but um there's little gimmicks and little things you can do to, to really get people to call you and these things are pretty effective but but once again i've got to stress one ad is not going to be a game changer if you're posting 10 ads in a week i hate to break it to you aren't going to be making much money whether it's on facebook or craigslist Individuals that are successful, they're doing many, many ads and not just in one area, they're doing many different areas. Some areas are great, some areas are not so great, and some areas are good one week and horrible the next week. If you want a steady income, you need to do a steady amount of ads across the whole country, targeting as many people as you can for as many services as you can. That's the goal. So I hope this helps you in regards to Craigslist. Once again, um, if you're doing free ads too, uh, change up the ad you know here here i have zero down cable tv internet my next ad might say cable tv and internet zero down or no money down you know i just changed the wording a little bit still getting the same message across but i'm changing the wording i might rearrange some of these words or or where it says no down payment i i might put no money down i'm saying the same thing but i'm just making sure that the that craigslist bots don't sense that i'm just spamming craigslist so um that that's what's really helping for me I don't advise using a Google um, a Google voice number or a text-free number. It's just going to be a waste of your guys' time. They aren't consistent, solid phone lines, and sometimes you'll miss calls, which means you're missing money. What's really working is when people put their actual cell phones online. I know it sounds scary, and if you don't like it, get a second second line for Metro or whatever for like 20 bucks a month, and, and you'll be happy with that, right? I can promise you it'll pay for itself. And then anytime that phone rings, you know it's ringing to make you money. So, um... That's really the best advice I can give you guys. So once again, to sum it up, um, post on Craigslist, but first don't waste your time posting on Craigslist until you've looked at where to post in the map here. This map is super helpful. It's got everywhere you can post. I mean, look at New York. Wow, there's just so many areas you can post in New York. There's different strategies. I recommend doing both, which strategy one is being all the major, major markets, the New Yorks, the LAs, the, the uh, uh, Dallas, Texas, the, uh, the big the big markets and then maybe go after smaller markets like i don't know wherever this city in kentucky is bowling green right maybe go after something like that maybe it's not as competitive maybe it's a, a nice soft market that you can penetrate so um overall craigslist has been very very effective for us but what you'll find with craigslist is they don't call right away you'll sometimes get a call a week or two later so it's up to you to respond right away right so don't you know, if you're getting a, a call, remember, that's a warm lead. If you don't respond to that call, it's no longer a warm lead. It's a cold lead, and the person will have probably forgotten you and probably won't even take your call back. So I highly recommend calling. And if you miss a call and you call them back and they don't answer, always just respond back with a text message. Hey, this is so-and-so. I was just responding back. You had inquired about cable, TV, and Internet. Um, I was just calling you back to give you a free quote. Please respond back when you're free. Thank you. That's it. That's all you got to do. So once again, guys, I hope this helps. Um, there's In this video, you should have learned the following. Paid ads, right? Which we do paid ads in Craigslist because you cannot get flagged, meaning no one can take down your ads. If you don't have the money, once again, you can do free ads. Just be prepared that some of them, if not all of them, will be taken down or flagged. And you might get lucky here and there, but that's just what this is part of the game. Um, other than that, if you have any questions, you guys can always reach out or comment down below, and I'm happy to help you guys. Thank you.